We're going to start by dividing our canvas into four equal sections. Load a half inch angled brush with the jack-o'-lantern color. This is the lighter orange shade. And begin filling in the lower right box on your canvas. Once you have a nice even layer in that box, clean your brush and then load it with the darker shade of orange. This is the harvest orange. Fill in the upper left box with the harvest orange color. Clean your brush or grab a new one and begin filling the lower left box with the petunia purple or any shade of purple you have on hand. It's best to stick with lighter shades since we'll be painting over it with orange. Here's what your painting looks like so far. If you'd like a more solid color in the boxes, go over each box with more layers. I prefer mine to show the brush marks because it gives it a bit of a vintage look, which I prefer for my Halloween decor. Now it's time to fill in our last box. Take a clean brush and load it with Mars Black and have at it. Now it's time to make our first pumpkin. Load a number five round brush with titanium white and drag a two inch line down the center of the lower right square. Then go back to the top and begin dragging curved lines from the top point to the bottom point on both sides as if you were painting an upright football. Continue doing this until your football is rounded on the sides and pointy at the top and bottom. Now reload your brush and go back to the top. Starting just to the right of the top point, drag a curved line down just to the right of the bottom point. The trick to doing this is that you use very little pressure when your brush is at the top. Add a little pressure as you come to the middle. This spreads out your brush hairs. And then lighten the pressure as you reach the bottom so that you're only using the point of the brush again. Now go over and do the exact same thing on the left side of the football. It'll look as if the football shape is inside a pair of parentheses. Then go back to the right side and draw another curved line to the right of the first. This time make the line thinner and shorter. Do this by using less pressure on your brush. Then go over to the left side and repeat the process, rounding out the sides of the pumpkin. When you're done, it'll look very much like a peeled orange. Clean your brush and load it with the petunia purple, and then repeat the same process in the upper left square. Start with the football shape, and then add a pair of large parentheses, followed by a smaller pair of parentheses. As you can see, this shade of purple does not show up too well on this dark shade of orange, but we can easily remedy that by dipping our brush in some of our titanium white and going over it. You'll want to do this while the purple is still wet so that the two colors blend in a natural way. Every stroke with the white picks up a little bit of purple and makes it appear as if it's a highlight. Now let's move on to our purple box. For this pumpkin, we'll be using our Harvest Orange color. This is a darker shade of orange. And then going over it with a bit of primary yellow for our highlight. Again, the yellow should be added while the orange is still wet. After adding the yellow, dip just the very tip of your brush in the titanium white and stroke that in as well. Now it's time for the last box. Paint a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, this is our lighter shade of orange, in our black box using the same method we used for the previous three pumpkins. For this pumpkin, I only want you to highlight with the titanium white. Leave out the yellow because I want it to look different from the other orange pumpkin.
After you finish with the black box pumpkin, let's go back to the pumpkin in the purple box. Begin outlining that pumpkin with a number zero liner loaded with Mars black. Start with the outside lines and then trace over the segmented pieces. Add some black at the top and bottom of the pumpkin. It's okay if the black lines are messy because we're going to blend them in with some more of that harvest orange as you see me doing here. Notice how the paintbrush drags some of the black paint into the orange, giving it shadows and dimension. Now take your liner and carefully paint a black stem at the top of your pumpkin. It should look sort of like a witch's hat. Add a hook to your stem if you like. Then go back over your pumpkin with a bit more of harvest orange, primary yellow, and titanium white. Slide over to the right and begin adding black outlines to your white pumpkin using your number zero liner. Then load your number five round with some fresh white paint and begin dragging that black into the white, giving your pumpkin a more realistic look. Once you are happy with how it looks, go ahead and paint on your stem. Two down, two to go. Move on up to your purple pumpkin and outline it in black. Then blend in the purple and white. This one you have to be a bit more careful with because it tends to want to go gray and you don't want a gray pumpkin. So just make sure to add more purple than white and you should be fine. Don't forget your stem. For the last pumpkin, we're doing something totally different. We are outlining this pumpkin in white. Soften the lines by blending in some of that jack-o'-lantern orange. Then add your stem. Step back and take a look at your painting. Doesn't it look great? Now, I chose Halloween themed colors for this painting, but you could easily change it up to match your Thanksgiving or fall decor. Imagine the same painting done in some nice coppers or browns. That's what's so great about art. There is no wrong or right. Here's a final look at our pop art pumpkin painting hung on a wall.